Hey, hey guys, it's Michelle B. And it is, it's hump day, it's Wednesday. And uh, I've been traveling a little bit. And uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Michelle Bell, sorry, Michelle B. I am a real estate agent here in beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. I'm also the founder of hashtag so Boca Lifestyle. And uh, we talk about all things Boca, South Florida and beyond, whether it's lifestyle, food, events, charity, you name it, we talk about it. We vlog, we blog, we have a YouTube channel. And I'm also a real estate agent with Remax Services here in beautiful Boca Raton. So today I wanna to jump on because um, this is not specifically for real estate agents, but I really think that this is such a cool opportunity um, for small business owners. So if you're a small business owner here in beautiful Boca Raton, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me some hearts, um, or even in South Florida, it doesn't even have to be you know, um, local, because this is something that's really cool. So I wanna know, and I put it in my stories today, how many of you have an Amazon Alexa dot? Oh, by the way, I have, where's mine? Uh, anyways, I've got like three of them. Um, the reason I thought I would jump on is I did a really cool poll a couple weeks ago and I asked everybody, do you have an Alexa and what do you use it for? And it was around Prime Day and um, I have a uh, an affinity for Amazon. <laughs> I love shopping on there. It made my life so easy. And I was stunned at what people were using their Amazon Alexa for because I was thinking music, right? So. Anyways, um, one of the things that people uh, were doing, hi guys, hi Precious Lee, how are you? Um, one of the things that people were using their Amazon for, their Alexa for was music, weather, news, setting up a grocery list. So I finally set up a grocery list, which is brilliant because I'm always out of creamer. If you ever watch my stories, I need creamer with my coffee. Shopping. Um, an alarm clock, intercom. I had people tell me they had multiple Alexa dots in their homes. Hi guys. And um, they use it to call people. They use it to shop on Amazon. They use it to get uh, sporting news or updates on their favorite team. Games, like word of the day. Um, homework, I cannot tell you. Okay, first of all, I'm a, I'm a midlife mama. So the deal is I'm a midlife mama who loves social media, tech, I really embrace it. I think it's fantastic uh, for business. Um, people are using their Amazon Alexa for uh, smart home, their AC, uh, locking doors. I mean, it's so freaking cool. Um, sound machine for babies. If you have little ones in your house, time out. Oh my God, I can't imagine. My kids are 28 and 23. I would have been like, Alexa, give the kids a timeout for 15 minutes. Oh, brilliant. So that's another thing, controlling lights. Uh, I have a lot of people tell me that they, um, they use it for recipes and also for conversions in recipes. Then um, one of the other things that I thought was really, really cool was um, uh, motivation and productivity. So I started researching all the different things, hi guys, that I could do with my Alexa. And this is what I came up with. So one, I, as a realtor, I, I like motivation. I like to learn. Um, I have some, some really cool friends that um, have set up some skills. And if you don't know what that is, and this is why I'm jumping on today, and you have an Amazon Alexa dot, you can set up every day something called your flash briefings so what i did is i went on and i'm like well who do i want to listen to and i'm going to break it down for you you have you know put the app on your phone okay and if you already are using it then you have the app typically because you you've hooked it up to your music like spotify or something um there's a menu in the upper left corner if you tap on that menu you're gonna look down and you're gonna see their skills. They call it skills, okay? So this is their flash briefings, it's called skills. Then what you can do is you can go to categories and there's a huge amount of categories like business, education, travel, local, weather, productivity. Um, for example, I have set up on mine 
Gary V. Who's a Gary V fan? I love Gary V. So every morning now, I've enabled his skill. And that's what you have to do. So you look at the different skills that you want, right? And then you pick what you want. And so I pick what I want, all right? And then I enable it. Once it's enabled, it's in there. Now, some of the skills are every day and some are once a week. It just depends on who you're you know, getting your information from. But I have Gary V. I have my weather. I have some real estate folks that I really, really enjoy listening to who are very smart and they, um, you know, they, they have some really good information, especially if you're real estate agents. And um, if you want to reach out to me, I'm happy to share, you know, any of any of the folks that I'm sharing with you, I'm happy to share with you. Um, but I have to tell you, it's absolutely fantastic. So what I've done is I've enabled uh, a variety of skills now. So what I do is I get up, I make my coffee in the morning, I go, Alexa, give me my flash briefings. And they're short, so they're like mini micro podcasts, like a minute, maybe two minutes tops. This is not really a long, long-term thing. But if you're into podcasting, this is really, really good because you can you can repurpose this for your podcast. So I do have a podcast on um, iTunes, and my podcast is the Boca Raton Lifestyle Buzz. So it ties into hashtag so Boca. But, um, and what I do now is, you know, I do something personally every week on what's happening around town. Um, so if you wanna check that out now, that is a skill, just go to Boca Raton and it will come up. Um, but what's really, really cool is that you can enable and disable different skill sets depending on what you wanna to listen to. So I also have the weather on there. Um, I have motivational quotes now. And I mean, you're talking like maybe five, seven minutes tops while you're making your coffee, you get the water, you do your coffee and all that stuff. It's fantastic. But what I see is I think this is a huge opportunity for small businesses in particular that, let's face it, I have a YouTube channel, love my YouTube channel. And I have a lot of real estate things on there as far as for buyers and sellers. Um, I do convert those into podcasts and I'm gonna have more content on my podcast on iTunes uh, in the next week. But are you watching the YouTube videos? Or are you listening to your YouTube videos? Because at the end of the day, I think a lot of us are listening. We're listening in the car. We're listening like, I don't know, when I go to bed at night, a lot of times I'm listening to things, not necessarily watching things. So what I think is this is like a really cool opportunity for one, you to listen to some motivational, informational, educational things every day, and it's quick, quick, quick. And two, if you are a business or if you are a real estate agent, it's something that you can, you know, you can add to your marketing uh, piece to your business. So I wanted to share that with you because I just think it's, I mean, it's fascinating what people were telling me they were using it for. And that kind of surprised me because, you know, I'm thinking, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, listen, listen to my music. Hey, Ginger. Hey, guys, how are you? Um, so I'd love to know, one, I had uh, something in my story today. Do you have an Alexa? And if so, what are you using it for? Because now I've given you some really uh, good suggestions on how you can use it and what you can use it for. And if you're interested in setting up your own flash briefing, you can send me an email because I'm going to do a webinar on how to do this. It is not difficult. I will tell you, um, it took me a little time because there was a couple of things that I had to learn how to do. And I want to premise this by saying, Midlife Mama here, okay? Um, technology is your friend. You can use it if you are doing a side gig or maybe you are uh, switching careers and you need to up your game with your marketing. This is another little piece for you. Um, I will also mention, I have, if you wanna follow um, Soboka, which is here on the gram too, uh, you can follow us on um, my other page. Um, and we also have a full website, www.soboka.com, three O's, S three O's, boca.com. Um, but, what I really, really like is the fact that I think anyone at any age can embrace these different platforms. You don't have to be on all of them, and I don't recommend that you're on all of them because what I see is, um, and I, I work with a lot of you know 
um, you know, people who are in must stage of life. Maybe you have adult children, uh, you're an adult child taking care of your parents, or like I said, you're changing careers or switching careers, or maybe you're becoming an entrepreneur. Maybe you have a hobby that's fantastic and now you can actually monetize it. So what I'm saying is, you know, don't be afraid of some of the new stuff that's coming down the pike. Just pick and choose what works for you. You don't have to be on every platform and you can repurpose it. So for example, I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> it will also be on Facebook and I will probably take the audio from this and put it into a podcast and I may even break it down into some flash briefings. Who knows? But I'm just saying, don't be afraid of the new technology. It's fantastic. And for you realtors out there, definitely take a look at, you know, things that you can do with flash briefings um, and, um, you know, sharing information, not selling, sharing of information, being a resource in your community, because really that's, that's what it's about. Who knows more people than real estate agents, folks? Um, and, you know, I've been here for 40 years. And like I said, I'm a mom of millennials, by the way. If you are midlife, mom, maybe have millennials, almost an empty nester, or maybe an empty nester, I just started a new group on Facebook, by the way. So feel free to join it. And it is called Midlife, Moms, Millennials, and Empty Nester. So you can find it on there. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a direct message. And um, if you're interested in learning more, uh, send me an email at sip social cell at gmail.com, S-I-P, social, cell, S-E-L-L, -L, at gmail.com. And um, I'm going to put together a little webinar for everyone and uh, show you some of the steps that I went through to get this set up. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. And uh, I mean, look, it's Wednesday and it's, well, at least it's beautiful and sunny here. And um, if there's anything I can ever help you out with on the real estate front, I do have some specialties where I deal with folks going through divorce, seniors that are downsizing, and also estate and probate situations, along with general uh, real estate for buyers and sellers. One, sell, one call handles it all when you work with Michelle. Have a great day, guys.